वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई एम नेहा पाराशर वर्किंग इन हेल्थ केयर कंपनी इन बेस्ट इन जर्मनी इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर ऑन स्टेप फोर जूरिंग आई एन डी प्रिपरेशन एंड वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट टू थिंग्स फर्स्ट वॉट कंटेंट डू वी नीड टू इंक्लूड इन आई एन डी एप्लीकेशन एंड सेकेंड इन विच फॉर्म इट दे आर प्रिपेयर द नॉलेज अबाउट वॉट शुड गो इन आई एन डी एंड वॉट शुड नॉट गो इन आई एन डी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट राइट एज मिसिंग दिज इन्फॉर्मेशन कैन लीड टू क्लिनिकल होल्ड एंड एज अ रिजल्ट द डिले इन अप्रूवल ऑफ द ड्रग फॉर पेशेंट्स इन नीड सो लेट्स सी वॉट गोज इन आई एन डी एप्लीकेशन वन बाय वन फर्स्ट वॉट कंटेंट डू वी नीड टू इंक्लूड इन आई एन डी एप्लीकेशन सो आई एन डी एप्लीकेशन इंक्लूड बेसिकली द इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम फोर पार्ट वॉट आर दोज फोर पार्ट वन पार्ट इज डेटा एंड रिपोर्ट As we saw in last videos, from where this data comes, this data comes from non-clinical, from clinical or human studies, and chemistry and manufacturing related information. That is CMC data. So along with this data, we include the second document, which is called clinical protocol. What is this clinical protocol? This is a document which includes the information about how we will perform the clinical studies. Everything related to this clinical study plan is included in this protocol, and this needs to be included in IND application. Then there are third part of information which is included in IND application, and that is that is FDA forms. These forms include the information from investigator, from sponsor, and so on. And each of these has a different purpose, and that's why they are mandatory part of IND application. In my next video, I'll be talking about these IND related forms in detail. Then there are fourth and last type of information that is included in IND application. What is that? It is other administrative or regional related information. We combined all of these four kind of information data and reports into a specific section and format that is called CTD format. Let's see how this CTD format looks like. Under module one, as you can see, there are informations like cover letter, FDA form, table of content, general investigation plan, and so on. So these are basically the administrative information that we included in module one. Then in module two, we have summary of other modules. That is the summary of module three, four, and five. Let's see what goes in module three. In module three, we include the CMC related information. and in module 4 we include non clinical and in module 5 we include the clinical information so whatever information we saw from four sources we arrange that information in these five modules now let's see each of these sections one by one first is cover letter and fda form the cover letter is a letter which is typically one page or less the purpose of this cover letter is to explain the intention of clinical study why do we want to do this study so basically this is the purpose of explaining in cover letter and in addition to this cover letter there are different fda forms which needs to be signed and submitted with this ind application and as i said i will discuss these forms in detail in my next video then we include a detailed table of content in ind application then the next part is general investigation plan what will be the overall investigation plan for the next year trial along with this the rational and description which indication to be studied and number of subjects to be included what will be the general approach for assessment of treatment and what are the risk with the drug these kind of information are part of general investigation plan and this also goes in module 1 And the next part of this module one is investigators brochure. What is this investigators brochure? In short, it is called as IB. So let me explain you in a very easy way. Who perform these clinical investigation? It is investigator or physician, right? So when investigator is the one who is injecting or providing these drug to the human population during the clinical trials, then this investigators should know everything about this drug that he is supposed to know, right? the responsibility is of course of the sponsor that is pharmaceutical companies that they let investigator know about this information in form of a document which is called investigator brochure so investigator brochure is a kind of document which is given to investigator and this includes information or a summary of results from previous animal or human studies along with the potential risks side effects expected adverse event based on the previous experience This brochure also include precautions or some monitoring information that should be used by investigator during an experimental use of drug. 
so this brochure is provided by pharmaceutical companies to the investigator and also a copy is submitted to fda as part of ind application then the next part is labeling of investigation drug copies of labeling of investigation drug also needs to be provided in module 1 Generally, investigators brochure is also considered as the current and most up to date label information. So now the next part is environmental assessment. There is an act in US called National Environmental Policy Act which mandate that before FDA approve any drug, they should evaluate the impact of this drug on the environment. That's why we need to prepare a document for environmental assessment which evaluates if our drug has any potential risk to the environment or not. The only exception for such assessment is possible if your drug qualify for exclusion. So even if we qualify for this exclusion criteria, we need to mention this rationale for exclusion under our IND application. So this was all about module 1. Additional information, for example, what is the status of drug in other countries or market? Is there any market from where drug is withdrawn? If yes, then what are those country and what are the reason for withdrawal? These kind of informations are also included in IND application. Now comes module two, which is a summary of module three, four, and five. Right? Then comes a module three. This is the one. which include all the chemistry manufacturing control related information in short it is also called as the cmc information and the cmc details of drug substance and drug product need to be included even the information on placebo formulation need to be included if it's applicable for your product then comes a module 4 which is pharmacological or toxicological information and reports from the non clinical studies so all the animal studies related information or results are included in this module 4 then the last section is module 5 in which we include the report from any earlier human experience or from earlier clinical studies if we do not have any previous human experience then we need to mention that under this section and if we have any previous human experience then is it from us population or is it from outside us population so all this information is also included in module 5 also any additional information for example if statement of compliance with informed consent and if our drug has any potential for drug dependence and drug abuse behavior are also included as part of this module so all this information is combined together into a ctd format and submitted to fda which is called ind application now before we end this video there is one form which is signed by investigator to claim that he has expertise to perform the clinical studies do you know what is that form called if you know the answer then let me know in the comment section if not then don't worry i'll talk about these forms in the second part of this video till then let's stay tuned